Alright, so this is a video on measurement units. Okay, um, and in this video, we are going to talk about um, two different kinds of measurement units. Okay, we're going to talk about customary, and we're going to talk about metric. Okay, um, so what's the deal with the different units? Well, Okay. Um, this is, customary is what we use in the United States. Okay, so I'm actually drawing a super not so great version of the United States. Okay, um, so this is pretty much uh, USA only. Okay, um, and metric would be what is used by, you guessed it, the whole rest of the world, okay? So um, here in the United States, we have to know how to use customary because that's what we like to use, but since the whole rest of the world um, uses metric, that's what we have to learn too, okay? And in general, you're gonna use um, metric in science, okay? So I'm getting a little bit of science going here, okay? Um, oh, it's really hard to see. I'm going to outline it. Um, okay. Um, so you use metric in science, okay? Um, but you use customary for everything else, okay? So um, then over here on the side, I'm going to draw a line down this way. Okay, um, we're going to talk first about units that measure length. So I'm going to write length right here. Okay, because there's customary units that measure length, and there's metric units that measure length. Okay, so um, in terms of the customary units, um, that would be a mile. Okay, um, and I think. You know, like when your parents are driving places, okay, um, that's usually when you talk about, you know, like distances from place to place is a mile, okay, and on the metric side, um, we use the word kilometer, okay, and um, it takes about two kilometers, a little over two kilometers to make one mile, okay. Uh, the other uh, customary unit that measures length is a yard, okay? And a yard, um, you want to think about, um, I've seen them in the classroom, those long yardsticks, okay? Okay, so that's what I think of when I think of a yard, okay? And on the metric side, um, we have meter, okay? And a meter and a yard are actually pretty close to the same length, okay? So um, yardsticks and meter sticks um, are almost exactly the same length. Um, hold on just a second, I'm going to look up which one's longer for you. So a yard is just a little bit longer than a meter, okay? Um, one yard equals 0.9 meters, 9 tenths of a yard would be the same as one meter, okay? Um, and then we also have inches, okay? So an inch is about the this long, about like, so that's your, your thumb, okay? So I'm drawing my, you know, so that's my, you have to write thumb, otherwise we won't know that we're talking about a thumb, right? Okay, all right. So, and then on the metric side, you have a centimeter. And how long is a centimeter? Well, it's about the width of your pinky. So it's your thumb from knuckle to tip, and it's the width of your pinky. So that's why you had to write um, thumb over there. Okay, so this is your pinky. Okay, and it's from here to here. Okay, um, so. so inch, centimeter. Okay, so those are your units of length, okay? So next up, we're gonna talk about 
volume, and that's probably going to be our biggest section, so I'm going to start that pretty far down. Okay, so I'm actually going to give it, let's see how many, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine lines. Okay, um, your customary, we have a gallon, okay, and a gallon is like a milk jug, which is really hard to draw, but I'm going to do my best, okay. Um, so that would be like a milk jug, okay? All right. And um, on the metric side, we have a liter, okay? And um, a liter, um, you know those sodas, like you can buy like a soda bottle, like the big bottle, like like um, if you're going to have a bunch of people over and you get that, that big bottle of orange soda, it's orange because I have an orange in my hand. Okay, so that is a two liter. Okay, so those big bottles of soda that you know you you, you can't drink it all by yourself. Like that'd be ridiculous. Okay, that would be um, that's a two liter of soda. So half of a two liter would be one liter. Okay, um, and then on the customary side we have a quart. Okay, quart. And that is like if you buy the milk, it's the you know the tall, like you, you don't need a whole gallon, but um, you know, so that would be a quart of milk, okay. And then we also have pints, okay, pint, okay. You know those uh, those little things of ice cream like Ben and Jerry's, and that's a pint, okay. And then we also have a cup, okay? And a cup, like if you think about like a measuring cup, like you, you actually use cups a lot in measuring, okay? Um, so, you know, a recipe might call for one cup or two cups of milk um, or sugar or whatever. Um, the other uh, thing on the volume side over here is milliliter, okay? Milliliter, okay? And a milliliter is super tiny. Like, it's so small, it's like a drop, okay? So if you could imagine one drop of water, okay? Um, that's really a milliliter, okay? So those are your volume units. So the next thing you need to write, um, get it on this side, okay? is uh, weight and mass, okay? Um, weight slash mass, okay? And if you want to know the difference between weight and mass, ask your science teacher, because I'm not explaining it today. Okay, so on the customary side, we have a ton, okay? Ton. And so like a ton would be, um, you know, the, those those slug bug cars, um, like they're really small. Okay, um, one of those would be about a ton. Okay, so so a Volkswagen Beetle. Okay. And then the other uh, customary unit of weight or mass is the pound. Okay, and a pound is, like, it's what you measure your weight in, right? So when you get on the scale, okay, um, at the doctor's office or at home, okay? And, I, like, things that weigh about a pound, um, like, like a bag of coffee beans might weigh a pound. Um, you might buy a pound of flour, okay? Um, or if, actually, most flour bags are like a five-pound bag, um, so a pound is significantly lighter than a ton, um, but it's not nothing, right? Okay. So on the metric side, we have a kilogram. So let's see, something that weighs about a kilogram, um, like a pineapple, okay? Um, so, so a kilogram and a pound, um, are pretty pretty comparable, uh, pretty close together in terms of how much 
Um, each of them actually represents, in fact, um, if you give me a second, I'll look up which one's bigger. Okay, so a kilogram is about two pounds. Okay. And then the other unit that we talk about over here is the gram. And a gram is a super tiny amount. Okay, it's actually about the weight of a paper clip. Okay, so this is just kind of a general reference and review for you of your um, measurement units.